What's going on everybody? We're back again. This time we're here not for the three button controller. Now we're looking at the six button controllers and how to operate those, program those, set up different patterns, uh, and all that fun jazz for all the serial, federal signal, serial interface module, uh, serial communication, light bars, again, the S2 Argent light bars, the Legend light bars, the Radian S2 light bars, Valor light bars, anything using Cat5 connectors. So before in the last video, we did the three button controller so we can set him off to the side. We're done with him. We no longer need him. Now, if any of you have watched that video, the nice part is this one's going to come to you as a surprise, very similar to the three buttons. If you have not watched that video because you're like, ah, three button, who cares? I want the six button. No, no fear. We're going to go over everything again. So the three buttons to the six button controllers, very similar in programming style, setting up, um, changing flash patterns, very, very, very similar. The difference is, like I said, in my opinion, six buttons are much, much nicer because in a matter of speaking, you also have a lot more pattern selections, different combination of patterns that you can use. Um, you also have this slide switch. So if you want to use this to control your um, signal master, left, center, out, right, or if you want to just do what I typically do, mode one, mode two, mode three, or anything like that, and then do the buttons for everything else, you have that option. Same configuration, nothing too fancy all around. Very, very basic, simple controller. Big reason why I love them. So you have your pins for your power, just like the three buttons, and your Cat5 connector, again, just like your three buttons. So you're gonna notice very, very similar, but in my opinion, like I said, a lot better. Federal Signal, love these. Well, at least when you can get your hands on them, I should say. Now, they do have, again, there's, I believe, 18 different modes that you can select from or different keypad options, as you say. So on this option here, again, the link for this is going to be in the description down below, somewhere in there. Um, that will showcase directly to Federal Signal's website of how you can download all this information. So again, for those of you who can learn by watching, this will be a good video. For those of you who learn by watching but mainly reading, I'll give you that link. So here we have keypad 1.2, 2.2, 3, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so each one tells you each of the different buttons. So we're just going to focus on this one here. So yeah, light bar on, takedown, alley scroll, front flashers, low power, signal master fast, front cutoff. And then your slide switch has the signal master left, center, out, and right. So that's what the slide switch is going to do. Now, also within... Same thing, now you get a whole different set of keypad options. Keypad 1.1, 2.1, 4.1, 6.1, and again, what each button options do, or the standard keypad functions. Keypad 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and what the different functions they all do. Obviously, I have a little arrow here because, spoiler alert, my keypad is programmed for, I'll give you a hint, number 5. That's right. So, my signal master left and right, work out, work lights, alley light scrolls, signal master right, along with, I believe it's a two, two warning, two light head warning, low power, rear cutoff, front cutoff, why I would have rear cutoff, I don't know, but hey, that's what they put. And then on my slide switch, mode one, two, and three. So, let's get into it. Let's have some fun. Take a gander. Grab my connectors again. Same light bars in the back. Spoiler alert, I forgot to cover that in my three button controller. So we'll do it on this one. Um, so, I guess my, there we go. All right, so now we got your power connectors here. So you just slide that in, boom, bing, bang, boom. Now your Cat5, now watch again carefully. As Soon as it powers on, it's gonna light up and indicate to you which button is program for so in this case this button here lit up one two three four five six that tells me keypad number five is lit up so now if i went through here i can do my signal master you can't see it but in the background behind me it is going off but here it shows it's going left and this is doing center out press it again turns it off 
I can do my takedowns, do my alley scrolls left, right, signal master warning. So this is going to go to the right. And then if I hit it again, it's going to do a warning, which if I look behind me, it is doing a two head, two light head warning. So it's flashing two light heads on the left at the same time as two light heads on the right. They're going off and it's flashing the four in the center. So let's turn that off. Got my low power so I can activate mode one, two, or three in very dim power state. Or I can turn the dim low power off and make them nice and bright. I can do front cutoff. So only my now my rear is flashing. Or I can do rear cutoff, which... Yeah, anyways, for my display purposes, I don't care. Now, when you want to go in to figure out or at least reprogram the buttons, let's say you wanted a uh, keypad, let's say we wanted number four. Just like the three button, you just hold, but in this case, you hold the top three. It's going to beep like that, and then you just pick which one that you want. So if I wanted four, I'd have to come down to here and hit number four, and now it's ready to go. I always like to power cycle these because usually after you make your selection, and as you just saw there, number four flash. So whatever number four was, low power takedown. So now if I do this, now my takedown lights up instead of rear cutoff. So I'm going to go back in here. Now it's flashing, ready to go, asking me which one I want. So I want to put it back on number five. Okay, nice and simple, right? Now, let's say you liked, let's say one of these back ones, you liked keypad number 2.1. Well, hey, how do I do that? Nice and easy. All you do, again, press these top three buttons at the same time. Now, all of them are gonna flash. When you wanna do keypad 2.1, take your slide switch, slide it over to number one, press number two button and now that's going to activate keypad 2.1 so in this case this center button here is mode two so if i push that there goes my lights now i can also use the slide switch now because this is what mode 2.1 does so it does my left center and right traffic advisor that's how you get to Two point the point one programming. So whether it's 1.1, 2.1, 3, 4, 5, 6.1, is you hold all three of these top buttons at the same time, move your slide switch to one or two, and then push whatever button that you want, and that's going to get you to whatever keypad function that you want. So slide switch all the way to the left. One, two, three four, five, six. Slide switch in the one position. 1 1.1, 2.1, 3.1, 4.1, 5.1, 6.1. Slide switch in the two position. 1.2, 2.2, 3.2, etc., etc. But you have to be utilizing the slide switch when you're in the programming function, which again is these three buttons up top held down together at the same time. Now, let me put, just for programming purposes, I want to put it back on five, my original setup, because now what I want to utilize is my slide switch, because I want to show you guys how to change your patterns for different modes now. So, you got the gist of how to, basically, wiring in the, wiring it in is super, super easy. Um, you just hook it up for power. And then take your Cat5, your serial communication from the your light bar, plug it in. That's pretty easy. Then it gets into the programming. So hold these top three. That gets you into the programming mode. Depending on what function you want, you just push whichever respective button or use the slide switch for point one or point two and then push whichever button again. Okay? Hope for... So, Hopefully, so far, if I can talk right, these last 10 minutes has been somewhat helpful for everybody. Now we're going to look into how to do 
programming different patterns for modes one, two, and three. There's two different ways to do this. There is the way that you do it if your modes are in slide position one, two, or three, or if you have your button controller programmed to do modes one, two, or three, or what have you using the buttons. There's two different ways to go about this, and let's show you how to do that. Okay, so with Rush Respect, as far as if, let's say, uh, okay, so let's use, let's get me over, I'll program, put myself in programming 1.1, okay? So let's do that real quick. Okay, slide switch point one. Now I want button number one. Now I'm in 1.1, okay? So now when I want to change my mode because keypad 1.1, mode one, mode two, and we don't need to worry about the rest of this, but let's say I want to change my light patterns for mode one and mode two. Now, when you want to change your flash patterns on these six button controllers, you have to push these bottom three buttons, not the top three. Top three changes keypad function, bottom three does your actual flash patterns. So when you get into here, Now, it's only going to light up the buttons that correspond to a different mode. So in our case, this one is mode 1, mode 2. So you just push that. You find your designated pattern that you like, and you can kind of see it kind of off my vanilla Coke can. The blue light's kind of changing about, changing different patterns. You can vaguely see the red on this side, but you can see the blue is a lot better. So... That's just showcasing to you that there are different patterns going off in the background, which we're going to show you later. So that's changing mode one. When you're done, you find the right pattern that you like for mode one, move to mode two, and it'll now go through and say, okay, now we're working on mode two, and here's the different patterns for mode two. Each function has its own separate patterns. I want to say mode one has five or eight different patterns mode two and three do the same about an eight or nine maybe ten different patterns but you can scroll through and you'll eventually wind up to where you're figuring out oh hey i like that one better or vice versa or anything like that um believe me i wish i can really do the the federal signals smart siren platinum because that is so much easier you just plug it into the controller into your computer and you can tell it what mode you want automatically now in that time span that I just wasted jabbing, the controller actually timed itself out. So very similar to the three button controller, there's a 15 second timeout before it actually programs itself and says this is what you're going to be programmed with. Or if you don't want to wait that 15 seconds, you know exactly the mode you want, you just unplug power, plug it back in, and boom, it's ready to go. Now, did you guys notice? Did you catch it? See how this lit up and number one lit up at the same time when you plugged it into power? That tells you again, mode keypad function 1.1 is programmed. If it was 1.2, it would be the button and number two lit up. If it was 5.2, you guessed it, button five, number two lit up. Kind of self, once you get used to it, 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 it rolls downhill. Nice and easy. So now I'm going to put this back into keypad function number five because now I want to show you how to program and change your flash patterns on using your said slide switch. Basically, it's very, very similar to utilizing the buttons where you're just pushing the buttons to change the patterns. In this case, you're usually you're actually using the slide switch to change the pattern. So let's showcase that to you. Same thing, if I'm changing flash patterns, you're pressing all three of the bottom buttons first, at least at the same time, I mean. If you do the top three buttons, again, you know what those are for, I'm sure I'd beat that dead horse. So, bottom three buttons. Now it goes through and it lights up to letting me know, hey, which, which pattern do you want to change or which mode? So we're going to use my slide switch. Now it's going to pop up here and say, this corresponding, this is to mode one. So push that and that's gonna change your mode one function. Okay, so when you're done, you wanna to move to mode two. 
same thing. Now you have to push this button. And that's going to go through and change your different patterns for you. Again, same thing. Mode 3. Press a button. Usually when you press a button, let it run and cycle the pattern for about a second or two. And then go ahead and push it again. You've got a total of 15 seconds before the timer runs out. So if you like the pattern, you're good. If you're watching the pattern and you wait too long and it times out, just do the same thing. Hold your bottom three buttons. Go back to mode three. And you're back in line. All right. So I've got that done. Still in programming mode because it hasn't done that 15 second timeout. Easy enough. I don't want to wait. Just unplug it, plug it back in. Now I'm back to keypad number five. So now my slide switch activates all my patterns, signal master, takedown, and everything like that. All right. So let me show you the light bar. We'll show you what each mode is doing as far as actually physically changing the patterns. And uh, let's have some fun. We're just about wrapped up. All right, so this is the Velo light bar that's been going off in the background for the six button controller and my prior video, which, ah, there we go, the three button controller. Now, obviously, as you noticed in the three button video, if you had watched that, there's not a whole lot of patterns with this one, so that's not the one we're playing with right now. We're playing with the fun one, the six button controller. So again, I can move over to my signal master left, signal master center out, do my takedowns, left alley, right alley scroll, turns it off, signal master right, and my warning, my two light head warning, low power, rear cut off, front cut off, which in my opinion, There you go. So let's showcase how to change the actual pattern. So same thing. Let's see if I can do this. Probably not with one hand. So three buttons on the bottom. So now it's ready to be programmed for the pattern. So just select over to mode one. Use the first button to change the patterns. So you can see some of the different patterns the bar is using. And that's it. That's it. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave me a like. Let me know what you think. Got any questions? Feel free to hit me up.